Hi everyone, Reed at Tomasal Farm here with the first installment about the electric repower of this Hefty G cultivating tractor, which uh, this is day one of actually working on it after collecting bits and pieces. And uh, day one started with removing a fender and some engine cowling, and then ultimately the engine gas tank and all those other parts I won't be needing. It's an old uh, four-cylinder 800cc Renault pain in the ass, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, starting to have quite a collection of these and they're all ready to go out the door. Fait que Louva et José, je vous les promis, puis uh, votre cadeau empoisonné est presque après. So, the motor's gone. It used to occupy all this space and at the bottom of the area occupied by the motor, I've clamped the, uh, or the engine, I've now clamped a uh, DC motor that's probably the, uh, it's a big CPEX, or it's an 8 inch CPEX um, from a Raymond, probably from a three wheeler stand up forklift. Part number's not that important, but it's a 203 series, uh, advanced motors and drives. Uh, DC separately excited or shunt wound motor and uh, I think it's going to be plenty powerful for a tractor this size and these tractors are so easy to adapt to a new drivetrain because that plate that I've temporarily clamped the uh, DC motor to is the mounting plate of the original motor and then from there runs up to the input on the clutch housing here and the two are just connected with the shaft with some rubber donut joints at either end. I'll have to modify the shaft or uh, back the motor up a little bit but really uh, everything is very very modular. These Haxco uh, Hefty G tractors were built in a machine shop in Wisconsin where they built transmissions and differentials and stuff but uh, it's not very well integrated. It's all modules. There's the clutch, and then the clutch is on the rear of a sliding gear transmission with two ranges, forward and one range reverse, and three speeds. Uh, no synchro mesh, but uh, it's not a big deal to stop and shift gears. And then out of the bottom of the uh, transmission housing, if I spin uh, we're not in gear. Now it's in gear. Now it's in gear. If I spin the input shaft counterclockwise, the output shaft beneath it also turns the same direction. And that is going into the diff. And then out of the diff, out to final drives at each wheel. So if I continue cranking counterclockwise, you can see actually starting to advance the tractor forward. So, at any rate, the layout of these tractors lends themselves extremely well to uh, electric conversion and the biggest problem with these tractors is the uh, reliability and difficulty in finding parts for those old Renault engines. So, it's a pretty perfect match. Easy to convert and utterly worthwhile because it'll be a great tractor again. Whereas with the Renault engine, it's just like, it's more like an excuse for frustration. Um, my goal is to just use, this motor has a, a tailstock on it. I've just made a, a dummy mount for the time being. But I just want to reuse the same uh, open center, constantly flowing hydraulic system using this little pump that used to be attached to the back end of the Renault engine, mounted onto the tail shaft like this, and have it spinning whenever the motor is spinning. If I want to run hydraulics at a stop, I'll just declutch, uh, clutch in and disconnect the wheels from the, from the spinning motor, and I think it'll probably be fine. That way I can keep all of my hydraulics that are already set up and that I've already customized the way I want with a third outlet and my valves for the implement lift up front have float and various other features that I like so I don't really want to switch the hydraulics over to electric because I think it would be more complicated so I think I'll just run it as an accessory off the main motor 
and hope that that works well. So that's about it. Uh, that's what it looks like from behind. The motor is so much smaller than the gasoline engine that I'll probably be able to stack my batteries in the space above the motor and still have it all fit in the uh, inside the original engine cowling. Uh, somewhere I had some Chevrolet Volt modules that are destined for this project when they get assembled and I get a little further along. And other things that I've acquired uh, for this project include this nice kit out of a Yale electric forklift. Thank you to uh, Kevin, I think his name was, on eBay, who stripped a Yale forklift and provided this monstrous GE uh, CPEX controller and the pot box for the pedal and some contactors and a bunch of wire and other stuff. So thanks a lot, Kevin. That's going to make it a lot easier to uh, accomplish what I want within my budget. And I'll uh, record another video when I get a little bit further along, but this is the very first mock-up of fitting the motor into the frame, and it sure looks convincing to me. So, very happy to have uh, pulled that accursed Renault gas engine out, and to see this thing progressing towards its uh, future configuration.